We're Rock 103.9 The Bear. I am Tommy Carroll, hanging out with uh, drummer Cody Hansen from Hinder. How are you, man? Doing good, man. How about yourself? Very good. Great to see you. Good to see you back in town. It's your fourth visit to uh, South Bend. You guys started off here way back when uh, with Theory of the Dead, man. Yeah, man. It's good to be back. You guys have been at the Morris a couple times down the street, so you guys have been staying busy. Love the new album, All American Nightmare. Now, I was talking to you earlier. You guys wrote like some 70 songs to narrow this thing down to, what, 12? Yeah, man. We, uh, we, we wrote on this thing for like two years, went around, and, and we, we did a little different. Um, usually it's just Austin, myself, and, and then maybe you know our producer or something like that, kind of getting all the songs together. But uh, this time, man, we went, went around and wrote with like every songwriter we could think of and every artist that we could think of. And uh, you know, just trying to get a bunch of different stuff in there and some, some different flavors. So it was a, a long but very cool experience. Now, for you guys having such a huge success with that first record, Extreme Behavior, kicking things off with, you know, Lips of an Angel and Get Stoned, you know, is what is it like trying to just write the songs yourself and then bringing in these other writers? I mean, is that something that's easy for you guys to do? Because some people just want to do it all, but bringing in those extra people that aren't there, is it about the business or is it just about making the great songs? Yeah, I mean, our goal is always to make the best songs we can make, and, and uh, you know, that's the only important thing for us. You know, we're, we're not the guys that have, you know, egos about things. You know, we just want to get the best product out to our fans that we can, and, uh, you know, it worked out in the end, man. We wrote with a bunch of great writers, and it brought a, a really cool, like, fresh element to our songs, which was awesome. Well, that always helps. I know you guys work with Brian Howes. I think the first record. Did you do the second record too? Yeah, yeah, we did them together. Now you guys are working with what? Uh, Kevin Churko. He works with Ozzy and tons of people and stuff. And he's like a one-man show too. What was it like working with Kevin? Uh, it was cool, man. Um, you know, we had a lot of the songs kind of dialed in the way we wanted them already. We did a lot of pre-production for the record, and uh, you know, so we already had them at a at a pretty cool level. And then when we brought him in, it just kind of took it up, you know, another notch, and. Uh, He's super talented, you know, knows a lot about music. You know, he's very educated in music, so it was cool to have him on board. The track, What You Gonna Do, man. Like it a lot. Thanks, man. Called out the second single. So, uh, very nice. All right. It's definitely one you're going to gravitate to for sure. And It's one of my favorite records. If you're a Hinder fan, you're going to love them even more. But uh, tell me about Hey Ho. Uh, hey ho, man! That's that's uh, that's a fun one. That was that was a fun song to write. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of like that that stab at hip hop chicks and kind of I don't know that whole culture in general. I guess it's I mean it's more you know just saying that we love rock and roll music and and we think that you know people should get into to rock music a little more and pay a little more attention to what's going on out there. Well, the one thing I liked about the track is it's a good song on its own, but it was also fun. And this is about entertainment, you know? Yeah, man, we're just having a good time, you know, making, poking a little fun here and there and just, just having fun with it. Now, put that record on. Tell me about that one a little bit. Uh, that was also, I'm, I'm very, very proud of that song, actually. Um, you know, it's just kind of paying tribute to, you know, the songs that we grew up listening to and, and, and all those bands. And uh, it's really cool because if you pay attention, you know, you'll, found, you'll find tons of, you know, different song titles kind of hidden in the lyrics, which is, which is kind of cool. I, I guess a lot of those younger kids probably won't pick up on it right away, but, uh, you know, hopefully they'll, they'll listen a little harder and uh, do a little research. Well, thanks to Guitar Hero, I think a lot of those songs are in there. Because I know it's like, oh, I know that song. Oh, I know that song. It was just, I like that stuff. It was fun. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's that's what it's about. That's what we're about is kind of taking music back to that place. And, uh, you know, back when music was cool and fun, especially rock music. So, okay, You have this tour right now going on. What do you guys got planned for spring and summer? Uh, we're taking a month off uh, in March. And then we're, uh, we're heading back out in April, I believe, with uh, it's going to be us and Blackstone Cherry. And then uh, after that, I think we're going to go back out maybe with uh, Red and uh, hopefully Kopec, the band that's opening on this tour. So. Well, you guys got a busy uh, life ahead of you, and uh, thanks again. And great album. Congrats again on All-American Nightmare. Really enjoyed it. Cody Hansen, drummer of Hinder, thanks for taking the time out. This is Real Rock 1039 The Bear.